Are you sure you don't want to give me some charity money? Don't ask again. Look at you. You're about to die. It's against my beliefs. Read the dot NFO file. Maybe the gods of glass. Thank you. I met the gods, jeans. Sorry, Billy. I need this. You probably shouldn't take that. I'm paid well, but not well enough to stop you physically. You're not very good at your job, are you? Do you want to steal that or not? Uh, yes. I feel Billy deserves, or at least a much... I feel like I should be sneakier than this. Also, using a confession box to take donation money, I feel like my moral compass is getting worse the more I progress. Oh, you poor soul. <clears throat> take some donations immediately. I better take this. Exactly what I need to get rid of all of. But on the back it says I need some nutritious soil. got all the stuff to take down Olaf. Congratulations! Alright, so the master plan is... Uh... To be honest, I was just thinking about what I was going to eat for dinner. Hang on, the advisors tell me that they actually do have a plan. Alright, so all you need to do is walk in there and plant the seeds. The advisors actually went in there earlier and made their mark on the carpet. They say that's probably the best place. If they went in there already, uh, why don't they just do it? Look, something something destiny. You got to do it yourself. All you need to do is go to the lobby, get through the last hallway, and then you're at his lair. Then you take down Olaf. Dupa genetics goes into liquidation, and none of this taking over the world stuff happens. Baxt will throw a shindig, we'll all be happy. Going to be some super dope cheese platters, by the way. Shit. How good is cheese? Anyway, good luck, Paradigm. You're our third hope out of four. You mean there's more of me? Not exactly. You're just our third plan. First plan was an internet petition. They never work. And yeah, we already had another mutated prodigy child come through here. Uh, we won't talk about that. Oh, God damn it! Time to never finish my electronic music album and continue procrastinating. I, I mean, uh, save the world from one genre of music and entertainment. Good. Great. Fantastic. 
couldn't have opened the regular door. Now I'll have to find some oil and lather it on my naked body to squeeze through. Nudity is allowed. However, oil is where duper genetics draws the line. The punishment is remedial massage till death. Damn you and your conservative ways. I'll have to find another way. Better on shrink than Gardi Imbecilius. Thank you for completing the full version of Paradigm the Game. We hope you had a great time and you had a lot of fun. If you would like to continue playing Paradigm DLC, we need more money, the Kickstarter was not enough. Please input your credit card number when the time prompts. Unlike the full version, the DLC is paid to point and click. Please purchase the 20,000 clicks now for the low price of $29.99. Otherwise, feel free to play our ad free to play version. All you need to do is press the ad viewer button 10,000 times. Thank you very much, brother. Oh man, I don't have a credit card on me. However, what I do know is elaborate credit card antivirus games. All I need is a phone and a number. Uh, hello? You are not permitted to be here. No one is. Not even me. Well, I am actually, but I wanted to drive the point home. Anyway, leave. Otherwise, I will be forced to awkwardly linger till you leave. Hopefully some beer turns up. Get my chug on. Oh, oh that? <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. My power core excretes it from time to time. It's a super strong solvent. I sometimes sell it online for a hefty sum. It's like soap for robots, but it comes out of my butt. It's glued to the floor. I don't even. I guess it's payback for all those times I glued money to the floor at shopping centers and left. It will melt through my gloves. These gloves are Gukovsky, Gucci's Eastern European cousin. I need to use it. Who thought that shoes were such great liquid holders? Oh man, the robot poop evaporated. Thought that should it's burnt, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, slidey would be a real shame if someone ate a wrench inside your works. Wait, that's not how that goes. I am the destroyer of the gears. If only I existed in a steampunk world, I'd break shit up. Now just to turn the machine on. Seems like most of the children are doing fine. Except for child 729. She has four arms, instead of the three ordered. Well, uh, the maintenance person is...
currently staring at me and using it to its full potential. Seems like most instead of I can't that's the We'll uh and you Would be a real wait. Personally, I myself is but I still have I could go the evil route and claim them as my own after I defeat the sloth. Paradigm Supreme Leader. I have never seen such a concentration of sex appeal before. I think these are recording the wonder that some people really take their street. I think it's the gears connected to the conveyor belt. the family receiving them will mistake them for a prodigy child. They were a pretty nice person overall. Water heater, dinner's ready! Let's do this morally questionable thing. I just need the phone number first, though. I'm glad I kept that glam metal nun's number. All right, let's do this. Scamming time! Oh God, I feel so terrible. The lesser evil. Hello, Agnes. My name is Brian Smith, and I am from Krush National Antivirus, and I... Oh, you need my credit card number. I'll give you my credit card number. But, miss, don't you want to hear what I need it for? Nah, that's quite all right, young man. You sound very nice. Here it is. 512331512231211. Bye. Well, that was uncomfortably easy with a sprinkling of ethical issues. Oh, come on. This is making me feel worse. Level up. Not like this. Not like this. Hey, big sloth head dude. My credit card is 5123-315-12-2311. Congratulations. You just purchased 400,000 clicks. Account balance now, minus 12 million dollars. 
you will be in debt for approximately 10,000 years. Oh man, I feel even worse. I guess she doesn't have much longer left, especially within that messed up church. Door unlocked. Probably the worst host I've ever encountered. Didn't even clean up his place. What a mess. No welcoming snacksies? I am going to write the worst review online. People will think twice before saving the world here. Might as well go look around while I wait. I'm gonna make you so dirty. Uh, maybe not. I should probably save this for defeating Olaf. I worked as a poop picker-upper for a while. The texture reminded me of, insert movie slash game franchise or director that you hate. Hello, totally jacked mouse. It's a security camera terminal of... Holy shit. I'm weirded out. And that is why you should respect humans and not brutally murder them. Even in light of injustices they have brought upon our people. Just look at it, Rochelle 31030123. Big frag. I've never felt so turned on before! Most of the time I'm on power save. This is great, but so inefficient! I'm so conflicted as a server! John turned my home into a robot brothel. God damn it. Also, a more pressing matter. Why are there cameras everywhere? Oh god, how long have they been there? I have to find the tapes and burn them. Mankind should not be subject to my shameful personal rituals. Hmm? Oh, hey man, heard you want to murder me. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> You're looking perplexed, Parodai. Many questions must be running through your mind. This might be inappropriate, but I was wondering if I could get some sloth cuddles. I've been thinking about it since I first heard of you. What? I'm not a huge cuddle guy. Also, what the hell? I would never cuddle with you. Does your wig have a name? Yes, it's called Kill Yourself. Why are there cameras everywhere in Krush? If my life is a reality TV show, I hope to be paid handsomely. No, no. Krush is not a reality television show. Although, in hindsight, I feel kinda dumb for not doing that. If I didn't need to dissect you, I'd probably put you on the creative team for Duper Genetics. Anyway, Krush was a town created to observe and research failed prodigy children. Space Cadet, the drug dealer, the cone, they are all horrible, magnificent failures of the prodigy child program. But you, Paradigm, you were special. You were not a reject. In fact, you were the end game of the Prodigy Child program. Class's golden child. The world's salvation. Don't you see I'm monologuing here? I've been writing this for days. I even had everyone from the facility proofread it. I put a lot of work into it. Please, listen. Anyway. Money and power never mattered to Klaas. He wanted to make the world a better place. 
he wanted to create the perfect human. The perfect human being to lead us to a utopian society. That is why he made you Paradigm. He truly believed mankind's greatest trait was empathy and that the perfect human being needed to experience dire circumstances to evolve into that. There is only so much genetic programming can do to shape one's soul. Lame. As you can gather, this is why you are truly hideous, Paradigm. Shocking. Terrifying. Vomit-inducing. Makes me want to dig out my eyeballs, douse my head in acid. If you had a mother, she would probably sell you for a pack of ciggies. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will send me spiraling into a deep depression. You were class's obsession, Paradigm. He nearly drove the company into the ground, constructing you. What about me? What about poor old Olaf? I exist solely to vomit out candy bars. What kind of life is this? I loved class more than you ever could have. <laughs> when he died, I knew it wasn't from diabetes following his severe candy addiction. It was the stress from making you. After he went, I had nothing left. So I did the only thing I could. Carried on my father's dream of the perfect world. I tried to remove you from all of this. I tried to kill you, but I just couldn't. And now, ironically, you will fulfill his ultimate plan, eventually achieving Class's dream. Ah yes, I know the next part. You changed your mind and were like, Paradigm is a super cool guy, let's not kill him and let him finish his EP. I swear to God, Paradigm, if you try to interrupt me again, Want to hear about my beatboxing eggplant? Ah, enough! I guess that threat was pretty empty. I still want to finish my monologue before I kill you. Because father adored you so much, I continued observing you for many years. I tried to figure out why class thought you would be so great. Maybe even try and be more like you. Your existence disgusted me. But in spite of everything, there was one thing I wanted to take away from you. Even after your death, I will become the greatest electronic musician the world has ever seen. Not you. And in honor of class, I will kill you to the sweet sound of disco synth and lasers. Time to do the murder boogie. W wait, uh, hold up. Before you kill me, can I ask some questions? Are you sure you want to kill me? Klaus probably loved you, but he was just too manly to say it. No. No. He told me multiple times that I was trash to him. He even made me sit and watch a three-hour PowerPoint presentation about why I'm worthless and I'm only good for making candy. Why didn't you stop me earlier? To be honest, I started binge-watching a TV show. Suddenly, it was three seasons later. I mean, I had so much to do, but it was so good. 
Yeah, true. I can relate. Uh, what was it? Man-eating mutant finds multiple wives for eternal servitude. He just ends up eating them. I feel bad for him. Did you uh, see me do that thing? Uh, that thing I do alone when I think no one is watching? Yes. I didn't even know that was possible. Or that people can even stoop that low. I was sick for weeks. Don't knock it till you try it. Enough. But By the way, Paradigm, you acquired 243 shit guy points. And thus triggered the evil ending. To rectify this, you must scour all night long through fan-made wikis and read up on the most obscure forums to get every single ending possible. <laughs> Not really. Just messing with you. Life is just a linear experience in which you are in no control of any of your actions. No free choice. Just an endless, infinite cycle in which you are doomed to repeat all your mistakes. <laughs> anyway, here is a bunch of endings you can choose. Hello, this is Dark Mutant Lover 31 and this is my original story for what I think how paradigm should end. Please don't steal. It's copyrighted, okay? Don't mess with me. Seriously. I'm going to start now. Paradigm burst into the room with a face of pure anger. In the back of the room, a lone hovering chair appeared with its back facing him. He knew it was Olaf. Paradigm was prepared for ultimate battle and reached over to touch Olaf's shoulder. You are the worst, Olaf! Prepare to die! Paradigm kicked over a chair to show he meant business. But crying was the only reply he could hear. What is wrong, Olaf? Why are you crying? I'm sorry, Paradigm, Olaf said with tears rolling down into his hairy sloth chest. He then span his chair around. Paradigm, I, I know this might not be the right time, but I like you. I like... like you. Paradigm stood there astonished and he felt a warm sensation tingle in his tumor. He never felt before. I... I didn't know you felt that way. Why did you try to kill me? I'm just awkward like that, haha. <laughs> I'm misunderstood nice guy. I have trouble showing my emoticons, but if you get to know me, you will find out how smart and funny I am. Really. But you must know, I can't hold it any longer. I'm pregnant with Doug's son, Olaf admitted. Doug, burst through the door. You betrayed me, Doug. I thought you did not have reproductive organs. There is a lot about me you don't know, Paradigm. Doug then started to morph into his true form. Paradigm then began to have more confusing feelings for Doug he never thought of before. Doug, I think I actually love you, Paradigm said without realizing. Doug, Olaf, and Paradigm then... Please, uh, please stop it. Uh, please stop it. Now. There you have it. I was inches away from death. I didn't know it at the time, but everything was going to turn out all right in the end. Me and Olaf would put our differences aside and we would become good friends. I found the love of my life in Ivanka, and Doug was my best man at the wedding. Life was really starting to pan out, and to my surprise, I developed a North American accent. Funny how life works like that sometimes. However, just by figuring out how to speak to you in the past, I inevitably doomed this timeline to total destruction. I already feel the laws of physics changing and my eyeballs being pulled out. Neat. How about we actually team up and do this glam metal and wrestling thing together? Like brothers. Well, uh, I was looking forward to killing you. I guess that is the more practical idea. Sure. Let's team up. We interrupt your viewing of How to Live Faster and Die Younger with Glam Metal with your compulsory hourly viewing of Do You Really Know? Supreme Glam Leader Paradigm. If not, please make your way to the Glamification Center for Light Torture. 
Supreme Glam Leader Paradigm dedicated his life of extreme excess to the Church of Latter-day Glam in 2026, in which he immediately became the glorious Supreme Glam Leader. His famous physique you see today is the product of his very own vodka immersion therapy, available to rent now at all good health club stores. Wow! Cool to know. Upon his appointment of Supreme Glam Leader, he immediately romanced all the world's leaders and gained autonomous reign of the whole world and its people. He then, in all his glorious wisdom, swiftly went to work to bring enormous positive change to humanity. Glam metal and wrestling became the only form of entertainment through medium force. He reimagined the food pyramid for the modern devotee of excess, cash incentives for extramarital sex. Let us not forget Supreme Glam leaders spending on drugs and escorts alone contribute to half the world's economy. Wow! He is so glorious. Now remember, to live the life of excess is to live like Supreme Leader Paradigm. If you disagree, please make your way to Glamification Center for some light torture. All right, Paradigm. It's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye with the sweet tunes of synth disco. May it haunt you in the afterlife. Engage disco lasers! Pause time. And with that, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in And pause time. I forgot about the anti-assassination force field. Turns out it works both ways. Hey, Paradigm, do you mind walking a little closer? You're going to die, Paradigm. Ghost class will love me. Hey, there's nothing like Data a bit of brotherly murder. Boys will be boys. Devil, me my Stand a little closer. Damn it, Paradigm. Powering the laser was all that Potato had. What is he going to tell his Potato family? Please, just plug it back in so I can kill you. Yeah, nah. I never knew Kupu's made chumber. For those days, you just don't want to vomit. Keep one in the cupboard handy. This one's a bit beat up, though. Ah! Hey, it's full of candy. Oh, wait. I remember in that children's book, full of vomited candy. Gross. Hey, I've been saving that for reanimated class. I have five Baba Yagas working around the clock to bring him back from the dead. So far, they've spent my advance on vodka and mushrooms. 
I still believe, though. I think they're missing. All those cups of coffee at home really have cranked up my caffeine tolerance. I should eat more of these. Here are some more protein, you cute beefcake. Cheers, dude! My body is now ready to experience a new level of body dysmorphia. Damn it, Chad! Keep pedaling! I need the power for the laser to kill Paradigm! Sorry, bro. My thighs are too jacked. Oh, good. The laser is going to shoot. Ah! That'll teach me to be. Laser death oh isn't so bad, particularly this laser. It just boils all your organs except really your brain. Wish I'm mush. Not we near primarily much. need your brain. I think that I don't want. Feeling a bit pep, but still go. I could could still go. Mm. My heart sharp. I'm pushing for the good. Could still go. I think I can see. F oh God! What is happening? Jesus Christ! What's going on? Oh yes, lasers are offline. Those energy bars are wearing off too. Time to do the pigs plan. Now. Oh man! Really? I don't really have a plan B here. Who knew you were so good at solving puzzles? I certainly didn't. From the security cam vision, Almost I'm time. actually sh hey. I what is that dirt for? No biggie. I just like placing dirt around. You know, I'm just a quirky guy. You're lying! That's it, Paradigm. I'm going to crush you with my chair. Prepare for pain! Come on, man. Don't be like this. I'm gonna get ya! I really would like to cuddle you, but, you know, when you don't want to kill me. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Would you consider just killing yourself? It would make things a lot easier. It would mean a lot to me. It's tempting. However, I regret to inform you, I respectfully decline. Shit! Alright, well, I'm just going to go online and post on forums to see what the next step is. Come back tomorrow and I should have something ready for you. Hello, fellow internet friends. Man, I, I really hope this works. To kill so Did you just plant an instant tree? Oh, God. Why did I stock that in the vending machine? I better stand back. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. God bless Dupa's guaranteed 80% product failure rate. Maybe I'll just hire a hitman from the deep web. How does that sound, Paradigm? Wait, something is happening. Uh-oh. I... 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 This tree is so beautiful. I love trees. Good job, Paradigm. Thanks. Wait. What the hell? How did you get through there? What? Oh, turns out there is another entrance. I'm pretty mad right now. I can't even emote. Shh. Well, you saved the world from an entertainment dictatorship. 
What are you going to do now? Probably... Probably should finish my EP. I think I brought the sport of procrastination to its peak, to be honest. I'm basically the procrastination king. May your reign last for thousands of years. Not going to lie, after that whole pretending I'm dead thing, I didn't think Paradigm would buy me a car. I have to go think that OG. Especially so next time I can't pay rent he'll be less mad. I should go ask John where he's at. Where did Paradigm get all this new gear from? Does he have a new beatboxing eggplant that actually pays rent? There will be no more dropping of fat beats if that's the case. Hey John, uh, have you seen Paradigm? How's the whole creepy toe chasing robot thing going for you? <laughs> Funny you say that. Tom's a changed dog. Got my little missus here. I've fallen in love. I never knew the love a washing machine could give. She keeps me clean, figuratively and literally. Oh, right. Uh, big ups to you, big man. Where can I find him? Oh yeah, old mate is heading out on tour. Oh, bro. Why didn't he invite me? He did. Multiple times. You just kept beatboxing over him and pretended not to hear since you thought he was asking for rent. Oh, right. Where is he going exactly? He should still be at the buzzer stop down at the edge of town. Do you need directory days? Man, I can never understand the thing you're saying. Do you need help getting there? Yes, actually. You gonna head there now? Yeah, hit us up with the dits. Alright mate, just take a mizzer and walk down Old Borkovitz Road. Make a sharp bloody left on Dinky, Derovitz Road. Then go Dinky left on Old Raza Road. Go through a crush forest, then continue through to Wolf Wolf Tunnel. Ah, uh, the refreshing breeze of nuclear fallout. You may not pass! Hello, traveller! You must answer these riddles too. Or was it three? I'm not sure. Let's just make it three for now. I... I have already passed the bridge. Ah, oh, damn it, really? Yeah, sorry Shannon. You're getting better at this every day. Watch a few more video tutorials and you'll be a real bridge troll. Ah, thanks for understanding, dog. Really nice to see that Paradigm is spending his money wisely. Graffiti murals are doing great in this economy. I remember hearing about this accident. A uh, bunch of rats managed to ride this in tandem. Apparently they were brilliant drivers. It's everyone else that is terrible at merging. this I think a little more beep boop would be better uh, good idea actually well 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 look who it is my favorite unnutritious vegetable haven't you heard 
Eggplants are now considered a part of the gangster family. None of these vegetables are actually fruit bullshit. If I wasn't so excited about this new track me and Olaf wrote, I would berate you about how stupid that is. I feel pretty left out, man. Not going to lie. Don't worry. You're going to be beatboxing in the interlude. Yeah, boy. Also, sorry about that whole beatbox ignoring thing. Oh, good, man. You're my boy. Damn it, bro. I'm gonna cry. Let's hear that new trick. <laughs> 